Welcome back to Kermode Uncut. Last Friday on the Radio 5 live film show that I present with uh, Simon Mayo, I mentioned in passing that one of the week's new releases, the new Ian Softly film, Trap for Cinderella, whether you thought it was good or bad, it was one of the only releases of the week that fulfilled the Bechdel test. And, and Simon said, well, what is that? I said, you know what it is, it's been around for ages. And he said, well, actually, I don't know what it is. Subsequently, loads of people tweeted me to say, no, I don't know what it is either. So. I know some of you may know this, but I thought it was worth just taking a moment to explain what the Bechdel test is. It dates back to the mid-1980s, and Alison Bechdel came up with it. She had two fictional characters having a conversation, and one of them said that she only watched movies if they fulfilled three basic rules. One, does the movie have two named female characters? Two, do those characters have a conversation? And three, is it about something other than men? Now, Obviously, it was intended as a kind of semi-gaggy thing, but also it, it had a very strong element of truth because you'd be amazed at how many films don't pass that simple test. Now, it doesn't mean the film is good or bad. It also doesn't mean that the film doesn't have strong women in it. I mean, take, for example, Pacific Rim. It does have a very strong heroine, but it's one of those movies that, at least as far as I can remember just from seeing it last week, fails the Bechdel test. There was once a, a very famous quote about it, which was that if you put that rule in and you made it absolutely mandatory, the best film list at the Oscars would be halved overnight and Comic-Con would be reduced to a ceremony that lasted about 45 minutes. Here's the thing about that test. It was just a way of describing the limited roles for women in cinema. It kind of reminded me of that thing in the first Wives Club. One of the characters says, yeah, the three ages of women in cinema is babe, district attorney, and driving Miss Daisy. But anyway, that's what the Bechdel test is. It's been, been around since the mid-1980s, and it's not necessarily a, a measure of whether a film is great or not, but it does tell us something about the limited nature of women's roles. Try it for yourself. Next time you see a film, just sit there and ask yourself three questions. Does it feature two named women characters? Do they have a conversation about something other than men? You'd be surprised at how many films fail that test.